interwebs, guess what we're doing again? Well, we're reviewing another game from the new console, PS4. Killzone Shadowfall. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for this game. I'm loving it with a lot. I'm loving it a lot. Um, but I'm loving it just by the base if I actually played through the entire game because a lot of games can't do that to me. It's a good storyline already. But let's get to the summary. So essentially what happens is you're a one-man army and you're sending all of these quests that <clears throat> no one else can do, apparently. But essentially your very first mission is you go rescue a group of guys who got trapped or I guess their ship fell and you take over their job, you do their entire job that four men were sent to do and then you also save them. So you already seem like a bad donkey to begin with. So it's pretty freaking awesome. In some aspects, other aspects are why is my character special compared to any other character? Just because he, I don't know, maybe started school earlier than all the other um, recruits? I don't know. Um, by school, I mean army school, by the way. I just, it, at the beginning, it's just a little shaky. Um, a lot of it was predictable. The father, that was, that was really, really predictable. Um, what I didn't find predictable was at the end. What I also didn't find predictable was, um, the fact that the main character stayed with the guy who tried to save his dad. Does that mean his dad dies? I don't know. Play the game for yourself. Anyway, so let's get into what I liked and what I did not like, aka pros and cons. So. I don't know about you, but I love, love, love knowing my cons before my pros. So instead of doing like last review, pros and then cons, we're just going to do cons and then pros. So cons is on this side, and we're going to start off with that the enemy is always blended in, whatever they're wearing, they're always blended into the background, and it kind of bothers me. It feels like I'm shooting at the, the trees most of the time, um, especially when you're... Um, later on into the game and you're going through the enemy base it's just it's bothersome because you can't see half of the people you were shooting it's just like pew pew i just shot at the ground the storyline uh, i mean it kept me engaged the entire game but it was also really boring a lot of it like i said is very predictable at the very beginning how i said the summary it's 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 really predictable. I saw everything that was happening, again, except for the end. I didn't expect that. Um, it kind of bothered me. Uh, I couldn't wait, so I looked up how many chapters there were, and once you finish the ninth chapter, you think it's done, but I knew it wasn't. I knew that was happening, but it, if I didn't know that was happening, I probably would have been fooled. I was really confused, though. When the credits started to roll. So I have a massive thing with about the guns. First of all, the guns are old. I get tired of them. They're the same guns. There's like the same five guns. There's probably more. I don't know. But boring. I don't want to play with the same gun over and over and over again. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't make me happy. Along with, not only was there a low selection of guns, but a lot of the guns, um, a lot of the guns, I wish they were more powerful. Actually, all of the guns, um, I wrote all, so I'm gonna go with all. All of the guns, I, I wish they were more powerful. I feel like they weren't powerful enough at all, and they need to be. So, what's going on? I don't know. It's really, really bothersome. Time for the pros. Now for the pros, my favorite part in this entire game is the owl right there. I don't know if I'm showing it properly, but it's the owl. The owl is definitely my favorite part in the entire game. I love how they interacted with the new controller and having the swipe, you know, to choose what you want to use with the owl. In love with that fact. I'm also loving how they use the colors on how high your health is 
to how low, if it's good, your health is good, then you have a green light. If your health is low, it's red and everywhere in between. So like you got orange, you got light blue, you got, you know, all those different colors in between. Um, and it was pretty freaking awesome. Once I figured out what was going on with the controller, I was extremely, extremely impressed. The graphics were awesome. Um, I don't know if it was just because it was the PS4 or if it was because it was the game. Regardless, I was in love with the graphics. I could not put the game down because I was in awe, shock and awe at the amount of detail every single pixel had. I was in love. Still I am in love. And I feel like this game kind of set off the PS4 to me in a good perspective. So this game for me, for the PS4, playing it first, definitely a good choice on my part. Um, I love the maps. The maps were large, the maps were good, everywhere was detailed in the maps. And just thinking to myself how long it takes to draw a tree, regardless of if it's detailed or not detailed, it takes me about five minutes. So if they detail every single rock, every single texture, not to mention if there's there's a hill, um, I think in the very be the first mission, and that hill comes back later on, but that hill or whatever is is detailed. Every single step I actually felt like I was walking up a hill instead of stairs and it was really really good and all right so here comes the part of the review where I give it a star rating. Just so you know guys all of my reviews are 100% honest so these stars are 100% honest and I didn't rate it because it was on the PS4 and I didn't rate it because of all of the good things and the bad things I rated it because this is what I think and this is my opinion. Anyway I rated this game 3.5 stars out of 5, which is pretty good, I might add. I mean, some of the factors, pros and cons, more of the cons, they were big factors, but a good amount of the pros really made me happy and excited for the rest of the games on the PS4, like Need for Speed Rivals, which I'm going to be reviewing next because I also finished that game, and uh, so yeah, make sure you guys go check that out if you haven't already. Um, as well as GTA, um, GTA 5, sorry, I did a review on that, so make sure you go check that out as well. Um, if Need for Speed Rivals isn't up yet, because you're watching this right away, thank you, active subscriber. Hey guys, it's Warsaw Blondie, signing out. Thank you. Drop it.